Hi everybody, it's me Sarah. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are doing a nice morning yoga practice for anxiety. So we are going to um, start in a comfortable seat. Um, if you need to lift the hips or grab some props to make that more comfortable, go ahead and pause the video and get yourself settled. And we'll meet cross-legged or you can be kneeling as well. Just begin by closing your eyes and becoming aware of your breath. Sometimes we wake up and our mind is racing about things we have to do today. So this practice is meant for you to just kind of um, cultivate a little awareness into your body, your breath, and kind of settle into how you're feeling in this moment. We're going to take a little pranayama practice, a breath practice, um, that's really simple. So we're going to just count our breaths um, up to 10. So it would be inhale, exhale, and just think to yourself one. And we're going to go all the way up to 10 and see how we feel after that. If you lose track, that's completely normal. What we wanna do is keep focusing on each breath as we count up to 10. When you're ready, closing your eyes again and beginning to inhale and exhale one, just counting with your own breath. See if you can lengthen your breath for the last couple. When you get to 10, just notice how you feel. Just taking a couple shoulder rolls. So we'll inhale, loop the shoulders up, and exhale, roll them down the back. Just noticing any tightness from sleeping that might be creeping up into our shoulders. Or just tightness and tension from having a little bit of more stress and really get into our shoulders. Let's reverse, going back and up and forward and down. Good, and we'll just meet with our shoulders relaxed down, sitting up nice and tall. Inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, just a nice easy twist spiraling through the spine. Taking three breaths here, feeling on the inhale, we lengthen, creating space. And as we exhale, we twist a little deeper. For your last breath, if you'd like, you can try to wiggle that back hand around to the opposite hip. And we'll unwind back to center. Inhale, reaching up, create space through your spine and exhale the other way. Three breaths on this side. 
relaxing the neck and the shoulders. Maybe you wrap the back arm around to the opposite hip for the last breath and coming back to center. Before we come into tabletop hands and knees, we're just going to take a little forward fold in your butterfly. So just letting those knees relax down, it might feel good to rock side to side and just lift up out of the low back. And then exhale, just draping the head, shoulders and chest forward. The back of our spine tends to be very stiff and tight in the morning, so just breathe into that, feeling the back of your body stretch as you inhale and relax as you exhale. Maybe turning the nose side to side, relaxing the back of the neck. Take one more breath into this forward fold. And as you exhale, scoop the low belly as you roll up through the spine. Awesome, we're gonna meet on hands and, hands and knees. Um, taking your time to get there. And for this um, practice, we're actually gonna bring our knees a little bit wider than your hips and your big toes to touch. Good, your left hand's gonna come to the center of your chest. And you're just gonna inhale, reach that right arm up. And exhale, we're gonna thread it through, coming onto the right shoulder. And maybe lifting the left arm and placing those fingertips towards the top of the mat. Big stretch in the upper back. Careful your hips aren't going too far to the left. Try to keep them centered. And try to breathe into the shoulder. Breathe into the ribs. Always coming back to our breathing to help us stay centered. And when you're ready, coming all the way back up. Let's re-extend that right arm up and plant it down. Awesome, we're gonna go straight into the other side. Left arm pulls up and open. Feel that left side of the chest opening. And exhale, we thread it through. One of the best stretches to do in the morning, especially if you sleep on your side, you might notice whichever side you sleep on has a lot of tension in this pose. So we're just breathing into it. Trying to stay present on your mat. Good, slowly bring yourself back up. We extend that left arm and coming back down. Good, we're gonna keep our knees wide, creating a little space in the hips. We're just gonna walk the hands forward slightly and inhale, drop the belly, gaze forward. Exhale, we're gonna curl back into child's pose. Inhale, pull your heart forward, breathe in. Exhale, child's pose. How was your being when you joined me today? Take a couple more like that. Inhale, pull your heart through. Exhale, sink the hips back wide like a child pose. Next time you're in your child's pose, go ahead and relax. And take a couple breaths here, feeling the forehead grounding down into the yoga mat.
on your next inhale, we're gonna carve a line forward with our body and bring our knees back into parallel or to hip width distance. Go ahead and tuck your toes and we're gonna sit all the way back on our heels for a nice little toe stretch. Opening up into the bottoms of the feet. And as we do this, we're gonna take a little stretch for the wrist. So go ahead and flex your right hand, all 10 fingers, or all five fingers pointing up. And then we'll bring the left hand and stretch, pull those fingers back. Really great if you're gonna be typing a lot today. I sometimes find when I'm really stressed, I'm like tensing my hands a little bit more than normal. Then go ahead and point the fingers down and pull all five fingers down. Good, shake it out and we'll do the other side. If your feet are really killing you, you can just come to point and sit on the heels as we do the other hand. So start by flexing that hand and grabbing all five fingers and pulling them back towards your face. So you should feel this in the palm of the hand and in the um, inside of the forearm. Try to relax your shoulders here even though we are holding our arms up. And then go ahead and point the, the fingers down and pull back. So just getting some self-care in this morning before we start our day. You can really fight any of those feelings of anxiety. And let's shake it out. From here, we're gonna take a low lunge to just help open up through our hip flexors, um, get us ready for any um, activities for today. So come into your downward facing dog, lift the hips high, and before we come into our low lunge, just go ahead and pedal it out here, getting that full body stretch, and take a couple cleansing breaths, really releasing any of your worries for the day to come. So we inhale through the nose, and open your mouth to let it out. Two more like that, inhale, Exhale out through the mouth. Relaxing the neck, last one. Good, looking between your hands, we're just gonna step the right foot up and lower the back knee. We're gonna rise up to our low lunge and today we're going to bring our hands to prayer and really press your thumbs into your sternum or into the front of your chest. As you do that, just feel your breathing into your hands. Gaze is forward, maybe you lift the chin. Welcoming in all the positive things that could come today. Good, take one more inhale. As you exhale, you're gonna lift your left elbow and try to cross it over your right thigh coming into a prayer twist variation. If this is too much for you, you can bring your left hand to the mat and the right hand to the thigh. If you're in this twisted prayer, really think about spiraling your heart open, pulling back on your right hip, and continuing with those slow, steady breaths. One more inhale. And exhale, frame the front foot, and we'll make our way back into downward facing dog. Taking one cleansing breath before the next side, inhaling in through the nose, exhaling out through the mouth. Stepping the left foot forward between the hands on this side, lower the back knee, and we'll come up again into our prayer um, hands for our low lunge. Breathing all the way up into the chest. Grounded through the front foot. Take one more inhale here. 
And as you exhale, we're going to wrap the right elbow around the left thigh and twist to the left. It's harder to breathe in this twist, so just really consciously sending the breath down into the torso. One more breath in. And as you exhale, train the front foot. And we'll take one final downward facing dog. It might feel good to just pedal out the feet a little more or turn the head side to side. And we'll drop the knees and swing the legs all the way around. So some of us might want to stay in a comfortable seat how we started class and take um, some breathing, um, some time to breathe and kind of meditate in your comfortable seat. Um, if you're like me and you know you cannot fall back to sleep again, um, we're going to lay down and take a Shavasana. I'm actually going to roll my blanket up and just put it under my knees, but you can just get comfortable here on your back. Maybe flop the feet in and out. Let the palms shine open towards the ceiling. And let the muscles of the face relax. And let this be your moment of peace and stillness. Find calm. And to gain a little space from that anxiety that might be wearing you down today. Take a moment to notice how your body feels after just a little bit of movement this morning. We might take this moment to set a small intention for your day, whether that's a word or a phrase that you want to capture your day today. nothing comes up, nothing comes to mind, you can just um, imprint this feeling of calm and make it your intention to come back to this whenever you're feeling stressed. If you are laying on your back in Shavasana with me, go ahead and start to wiggle your fingers and toes and roll the head side to side, ear to ear. Take your time to slowly roll onto either side and push yourself up to a comfortable seat. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I hope that you come back to this practice whenever you need to and that you start developing a nice mindful morning routine on your yoga mat. Thanks. See you back here on my YouTube channel.